Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Okay, so, yes, exactly what the title says. Why so nasty? Yeah, do you know what? I always thought that having a channel on YouTube, or having any type of social media, or anything of that nature, I thought that you would always have to uh, sort of entail some sort of remark. Of course, absolutely, everybody is entitled to their opinion. Some people may absolutely hate what I upload onto my channel. Some people may love it. Some people might like it. Um, everybody, of course, has an opinion, which is valid. It absolutely is valid. But what seems really strange and it is really un is sort of uncharted ground for me is, I suppose, the extent of, of kind of nasty comments. Um, it's really quite strange, I have to admit. And of course, I, I've, I don't never, ever reply. I never, ever reply. Uh, I, I, I just choose not to. I really don't feel that, that, I, that I should. Um, I have to admit, Sometimes it's quite surprising when you receive these these remarks, these comments that people actually take time out of their day to pass judgment to make these remarks, which, to be quite honest, could be detrimental to that person and actually to their well-being and to their mental health if one concentrates it on it. But wow. Um, so what I'm I'm so I'm trying to say, I suppose, is I've done my filming, I've, I've done my clips for what I wanted to do today, and then I, I've had a look and I, and I see a few comments and I think to myself, do you know what, I've recently just uploaded something which made me, uh, I'll tell you about it. So, I went to a local store, I went for a walk actually just to clear my head, and I went to a local store and occasionally, I don't drink a lot of fizzy, I don't drink a lot of uh, soda or anything like that, whatever you want to call it. Um, but in regards to that, what I, what I, just a simple small thing can brighten your day, can't it? Just a simple small thing. And I actually found a drink which I thought, wow, I really, really love that. I love the occasional Dr. Pepper. And I found a, a different variation of cream soda. Now, cream soda takes me back because I have some magical, magical memories of me and my nan um, sharing and having cream soda, me, my twin brother, and my nan. So I thought, amazing, fantastic. So before I opened the can, I thought to myself, when I bought it, of course, I came home and I thought to myself, I'll do, uh, I'll do a clip here. Um, I thought it will, it will showcase that the small things in life really, really stand out. I never, ever had the intention of creating an ethos of being unhealthy or making bad choices, for heaven's sake. It's just a can of drink. Um, <laughs> and the comments I have received from that have well and truly been um, surprising, number one, surprising, uh, shocking, um, that people can be so nasty just through watching a clip. I mean, honestly, you don't have to watch it, do you? You really don't have to watch it. Of course, there will be people who who don't like me, who, who, don't, who don't like the content which I upload, who don't like the subjects, don't like the way I talk, don't like the way I style my hair, but having an opinion is absolutely fine, but being nasty and condescending and frankly vile to somebody surely isn't. Um, so yeah, why so nasty? I think in this world, when we when you think about it, this world is so vicious and so nasty. When you think of all the horrific stories, even this last month we've hit, we've heard here in the UK, let alone elsewhere, what's going on in the world. When you think of all the horrendous things that are happening to people in this world, and the nasty things which happen to people on a daily basis, you really do take the time to think that what on earth, what what possesses you to make those type of comments about things when actually. I, I, I often like to think if you've got children, would you speak, would you like those children of yours who you love, cherish, would give your life for, what if somebody said that to them? Or would you speak to your mum like that? Would you speak to your nan like that? What would she say? What would your dad say if you spoke like that? You used words like that? You made somebody feel worthless, empty, condescending, the list goes on. 
just through what was a a very light-hearted sort of moment of actually I'm going through hell at the moment. This made me smile. Yeah. Strange, isn't it? I I always I always stand by this. I truly, truly do believe that we have we of course we have one life. Why on earth would you not want to spend it by doing good and spreading happiness and spreading positivity and doing good things? Why? And I know that for centuries, awful things have happened and will sadly continue to happen in this world we live in. My nan, bless her heart, used to say, it's a crazy world we live in, my love. And back then, I used to have thought that I knew what she meant. But now, I really, really do. And I think it's truly sad when somebody says something or somebody tries to do something or somebody is trying to do something in life or is trying to succeed in life. And somebody has an interest in the background, and somebody's doing something for fun, someone's trying to get along with their life, doing good, and they're just having a little bit of fun with doing something small, but yet somebody's there, ready to knock you down, and ready to say, actually, you're this, you're that, and, yeah, it's quite sickening, really, isn't it? It really, really, really kind of is sickening. I would never be nasty to anybody, I would, and I always treat somebody with the respect and the due care and the... And in just treating them as almost how I would speak to a family member, because I, I truly do believe that just always approach somebody with caution with however. I mean, always be careful when you do banter. Always be careful when you tell a joke. Always be careful how you speak to somebody, because we all perceive things differently. And at the end of the day, you never know what that person is going through. We all say things in jest, we all say things in the heat of the moment, but you never know what that person is going through. They could have lost somebody, they could have been going through absolute hell, and you've just tipped them over the edge by saying that one small thing. Why would you do that? You wouldn't want you to go through it, you wouldn't want your family to go through it. Why do it to other people? Why be facetious? Why be why be nasty? Why be intentionally that horrible that you make someone's day miserable? Now, I've received comments. They've bothered me. I've just deleted them. What's the point at the end of the day? You don't have to watch somebody's channel. You don't have to watch somebody's clip. Go and do something else. You don't have to do you at all. I love and cherish every single one of my subscribers. It's fantastic. I absolutely now still think to myself, wow, every time I get a subscriber, every subscriber to me is valid and every subscriber means so much to me. They are who I do it for. I do it for myself. I do it for my subscribers. I do it for the views, for the viewers, which I have. I don't do it for those people who are nasty, for those people who pass comments, which are horrible. In and judge, we are all equal in this in this world, all equal. It doesn't matter what size you are. It doesn't matter what anything, absolutely anything in this world. If you want to walk around looking like whatever, dressed like whatever, being whoever, it is no one else's business but your own. As long as you are being respectful and you are being pleasant and friendly and you are a good person. We share this world together. Sadly, there are going to be some people who are out there who are not so positive, not so helpful, not so nice to come across. But what do you say to that? Why so nasty? That's that's what this clip is all about. So I don't know why. I think it's just because I've just received one too many comments this week, which are really kind of, it's just why. I don't reply. I don't reply and I don't comment because that's who I am. Because well and truly, if you don't like what you're watching or if it causes you that much of a problem, swipe or cross off and go and enjoy your life. We only have one at the end of the day, and after all, none of us are promised a tomorrow. And as I always say, if we're blessed with another one, let's grab it with both hands. I don't. Why would you waste any time causing somebody's life to be miserable? 
Because at the end of the day, one comment can spiral into so much more. Mental health is a huge, huge thing for all of us. And it can affect that. The smallest word can tip somebody over the edge. The one too many phrase which you think you're being funny with can tip somebody over the edge. And I know, because I've been there. Thanks very much for watching. And on a more positive note, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And thank you for being part of my channel. Bless you. Okay, until next time, where we will be positive, where we will be jumping straight back into the positivity of my channel. I will see you then. Bye for now. And thanks very much. Bye bye. Have a lovely, lovely evening and a lovely weekend ahead. Bless you.